Hey everybody, today I'm here at the Golden Corral in Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia, and I am going to be interviewing one of the uh, managers and co-owners of the store. His name is Scott, but uh, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and hit the like button when you watch these videos. I really appreciate it. It helps the channel out. And if you haven't uh, already hit that little bell to be notified when new videos pop up, please do that. It really helps out and I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Are you doing like a little podcast or blog or how? Uh, this is Scott, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Scott, tell me a little bit about yourself. <laughs> hey, my name is uh, Scott Atkinson. Uh, I'm 37 years old. Uh, born in Houston, Texas. Uh, moved with my family when I was about four years old to the Metro Atlanta uh, area, where I spent most of my life. Uh, had an opportunity to move up to Chattanooga 11 years ago and uh, help my father out with his restaurant. And uh, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I uh, got married a couple years ago and about to celebrate my uh, second wedding, wedding anniversary. Wow, that's great. Uh, and uh, my wife and I are expecting uh, a little baby boy in February. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's, uh, my brother was born in February. That's a good time. That's a good time to have a pregnant wife in the cooler months, too. Sure. <laughs> That's what I understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got a little uh, Valentine's Day baby just about February. Oh. Early. That's yeah. good. That's yeah. good. That's great. Well, congratulations on that. Thank you. Uh, so you say you've been doing this about 11 years, uh, and you, your dad got you into this. Did, did, have you guys always been in the restaurant business? Or? Oh, my dad has. He's uh, for as long, basically as long as he's had a working life. I, I believe when he was 16, he got a, uh, his first restaurant job, and it just kind of has always been his thing. Um, he's worked for a number of companies, but landed with Golden Corral about pushing 30 years ago. So wow. He uh, he had been with them for a while. Really liked the concept and. Uh, 11 years ago, he had an opportunity to actually purchase one. And wow, that's great. So uh, he bought this location and uh, asked me to come up and, and join him in Chattanooga and, and work for him. And not knowing exactly what I wanted to do with my life, it was just a good opportunity to, uh, to get out and do something a little different. Well, you're at a good age to, to get into something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so at the time, I, would, uh, I was 26 years old. and uh, working in uh, a restaurant uh, myself, so that was no, nothing new to me. Uh, kind of long hours and long work days, just kind of always been my thing too. Um, I'd gone to school at Kennesaw State University, uh, kind of was in and out of school, just not having a whole lot of direction, and this, uh, so this opportunity came up and it was uh, something I wanted to jump on. That's great, that's great. So. Um, so are you just one of the managers here at the store then? Uh, we got my start as a uh, assistant manager to my dad. Um, and a few years back I was promoted to the general manager. Okay. And um, at the beginning of this pandemic, my dad was getting close to retirement anyways. And he decided it was time to go ahead and hang it up. And I've had the, uh, kind of a unique opportunity to buy this uh, portion of the restaurant. So wow, well, um, man, congratulations. Thank you so much. Uh, 50% owner, um, my business partner is part of the original family that owned this location. So okay. this location has been in that original family in one form or another for uh, going on 37 years. Wow, wow. I know this this location has been here a long time. Yes. And, uh, I, I, well, I've been down, in, down here 32 years. And as far as I know, the Golden Crown has always been here. Right, right. I, I know... Uh, just hearing stories from uh, the uh, the original family's uh, time here in Fort O, they've watched uh, Battlefield Parkway here go from next to nothing, nothing being out here to really. It was really a two-lane road. Right, right. Um, 
I, I enjoy coming to this restaurant. My my friend and I, Steve, we come here all the time, and we enjoy it. We've we've noticed that your staff is very happy. Um, it doesn't look like you have a big turnover, other than in your younger staff. That's that's about right. <laughs> <laughs> but your your old timers stick with you. Yeah, they do. They do. And that's that's good. Absolutely. I in my 11 years here, we we do have uh, kind of a core group of uh, the team that has not changed yet. And um, at this point, they're just a my extended family. And yeah. I spend more time uh, with these guys than I do uh, my wife and you know, <laughs> my parents. So and that's really good. My family. This it's a it's a great restaurant. It's a great location. And how does this restaurant compare to a lot of other Golden Corrals uh, uh, nationwide? Um, I'm very proud to say we're, we're one of the top performing restaurants. Uh, Are you really? Yes, uh, sir. We, you know, if you're just basing it off uh, guest traffic, and we're, we're right up there in the top three or four percent of uh, the Golden Corral operations. That is awesome. Congratulations yeah. on you. that. What do you think that is due to? Um, just you know, that, that's, that's a hard one there. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I think just it all began with the original family that you know, this location and just uh, good roots in this area and have really um, committed themselves to the city of Fort Oglethorpe and Chattanooga. And, um, you know, it really helps that it's kind of been a family-run, family-oriented business from, from the, the get-go. The family feel is here. Sure. Sure, I think so, and I, I think there's something to be said for uh, an operation that is, you know, kind of centered around a, a family. So yeah. when we were able to come in, uh, my dad and I, 11 years ago, we just were able to kind of continue that on, um, you know, with what the uh, Tourette family had originally started. I like coming here. The food is great, um, and and, and I, I have to commend you. I don't know how you keep this place so clean. You have a cleaning crew that comes in and cleans it, or we're, we're the cleaning crew pretty much. We, wow. Uh, we we outsource um, the carpet cleaning, uh, which we do weekly at our location. But other than that, it's, it's just literally our, our regular everything. Well, uh, the place is so clean. Staff is always smiling, whether they're having a bad day or not. You can't tell. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's important. You know, we um, we're made up of young, old, and everything in between, and uh, it's really important to us. We have to remind ourselves, I have to remind myself sometimes that, um, you know, people come out with the expectations of a friendly, warm environment, and it's up to us to, you know, kind of put aside our own personal problems and you know, yeah. put our game face on and, and take care of our guests. You guys have such a wide variety of food. How in the world do you manage, um, with how much prepared and stuff like that? Um, you know, we Golden Corral has some systems in place um, regarding some build to information and being able to chart you know, our usage throughout the week. We're really fortunate in just that we have some veterans that are so seasoned here and have done this for so long that we have a pretty solid idea of what's needed for each day. Um, so, we just we've got a solid crew. We're we're really able to, for the most part, nail down what you know and project what we're going to need for that day. Uh, our goal is to just keep everything as fresh as possible. We get produce seven days a week. We have uh, fresh chicken delivered twice a week, um, if not three times during the heavier parts of the year, the busier parts of the year. Um, so it's just kind of like clockwork. It just keeps going. That's great. How much chicken do you go through? I know we're in the South, and the South loves chicken. How much chicken do you go through, in, say, in a day or a week? Yeah, so over the course of the week, it's between 4,200 and 5,000 pounds of chicken. Are you serious? Dead serious. Nonsense. <laughs> 4,200 and 5,000 pounds of chicken. Man, that's a lot of chicken. It's a ton of chicken. <laughs> and not to mention, 
steaks. You have steaks up at night. That's we do, and it's the same thing. It's a it's eighteen thousand pounds of beef that we're bringing in. Wow. Yeah. Now, do you run specials of any kind? I mean, because it is a buffet, do you? You have specials like some restaurants run a special every once in a while. Yeah, we so we uh, we've got a couple of specials that we just run for our guests. Um, we have a special that our seniors are able to take advantage of throughout the week. Uh, from one to three, we have basically a discounted meal uh, for those folks. Um, and then Monday through Thursday, we have uh, a, a early dinner special as well that. Not only the seniors can take advantage of, but adults can as well and save you a little bit of money off your money. Early guests, that's yeah. great. That's yeah, great. Absolutely. And then beyond that, um, Golden Crow is pretty good about running uh, some promotions and switching those up every now and then with some kind of exciting new uh, dinner items. So just by rotating those around, I mean, as much as I love our food, I, uh, I eat it every day. And so anytime we roll out something new with a promotion, it, I get excited. I'm always, you know, looking forward to trying the new stuff. That's great. You have a lot, a lot of regulars. Mm, absolutely. That's got to say something. Yeah, I, you know, I believe it's a testament to uh, us just being, you know, as consistent as we possibly can for the guests. And uh, that's how you get that return business. But um, without our regular guests, you know, we, we really wouldn't be able to survive with this type of concept. So the idea is, you know, that we keep our regular guests coming back and happy and uh, people excited about some new items out there uh, while maintaining some of their favorite items that are always out there and, and all at the same time uh, trying to entice new customers and, uh, you know, new families into our restaurant with, uh, with you know, solid promotional offerings and mm -hmm. just doing it out of a consistent good job. That's, that's awesome. I, I notice um, when we have guests come into town, this is the place we like to come because you have a little bit of something for everyone. Yeah, yeah. From salad to dessert. Right, right. <laughs> and we, yeah, we really do. I mean, uh, the, the kind of long-running joke here is that, uh, you know, if you can't find something that makes you happy here, you know, you can't help. You can't, that's, <laughs> that's exactly right. I've been there, been there. Now this, this, building looks fairly new um, and, and I know you had a fire recently in the last few years. We did. About six years ago um, we had an issue uh, with a heating and air unit and basically caught fire and uh, it was an older building but uh, the fire got up into the roof line and just really took over the building pretty quickly and unfortunately it ended up being a total loss. Um, so the, the current building that we're in is still on the, uh, the original uh, Little Cross site, uh, but it, it was a rebuild. And it was expanded too, it looks like. It, it was. I believe our capacity was around 275 uh, seats, if I'm not mistaken, at the Little Restaurant, and this one is pushing closer to the front. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. I, I, man, I appreciate you sitting down with us for a few minutes, Scott. I know you're a busy man. And you're always running around, and whenever I'm in here, and but but one thing I will say, you are never too busy to say hi. Yeah, definitely. And I appreciate that. Well, thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you, Scott. I'm going to close it out here, unless you've got anything you would like to add. Uh, you know, folks, if you're in the Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia area, please take action and come here and and enjoy a, a, a dinner. Yeah. Please do. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Scott. I appreciate it. You bet. Thank you. God bless. Folks, that's it. Uh, man, I, I've enjoyed it. Thanks for joining us. Uh, it's short, but that's the way I like it. So uh, you have a good day. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and hit the bell. See you next time.